Bad news, bad news, bad news. Jesus, Jeremy, one bus crash. What about all the buses that made it safely to their destinations, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is such bullshit. Yes, I suppose the news should just be a dispassionate list of all the events that have occurred the world over during the day. That'd be good. Except, of course, it would take forever. to move on nuisance drinkers from the Copthorne Hills area. That's... that's our picnic! You can't see the kettle chips! <laughs> Bloody hell! Whose business is it where you do your drinking? I wasn't drinking, I was having a picnic! Hello? Mum, we were having a picnic. Tell Dad it, it was a picnic. You can't see the crisps. We had three different flavours of crisps. Explain to him. And, and scotch eggs. Yeah, no, really, I'm I'm fine. L listen, I've, I've got to go. <coughs> Cock knobs. Mark, don't worry. These things, they happen for a reason. It might not seem like there's a plan, but there is a plan. Oh, right. You believe in a god, do you? Yes, I do. And you might find it a comfort and Nancy, a Nancy, there's no evidence for God, whereas Ofcom has published guidelines. So does God. It's called the Bible. Oh, yes, the Bible. And I wonder what the Bible's view is on you doing it. In the shower and the garden centre and up the bum. I mean, that's all right, is it? That's in the Bible, is it? Or do you think maybe that's not in the Bible? Mark! I'm sure it is in the Bible somewhere. Probably in Corinthians, there's a load of weird shit in there. Are they staring? They're all staring at the drunk off the news. Yeah, well, fuck them. Me and Sophie are going to Aberdeen. I'll make everything all right in Aberdeen. They're probably not even staring. Just being paranoid as usual. Oh, fuck. All right, ha ha, very funny. Yeah, I can take a joke as well as anyone else. If there are any more jokes, I'm taking it to a fucking industrial tribunal, okay? Mark, can I have a word? Let me explain. It, it was a picnic. I'm currently speaking to Ofcom. Right. I mean, we had three flavours of crisps. Sure. Good. Well, I'm glad you understand. Oh, I understand. Totally. Mark, listen, I've been there. I've been to the bottom of the bottle and back to the top. No, uh, Alan, I... We're kindred spirits, Mark. Like George W. or Alistair Campbell. We want it all, we want it now. And if we're not hitting our targets, we're hitting the bottle, right? Alan, I I'm not an alcoholic. Sure. Sure you're not. That's what I told myself every day for 15 years. But until you face your demons and put the plug in the jug, how can I trust you to be my main man in the office, let alone Frankfurt? Or Aberdeen? I've got to go to Aberdeen. I've got the rough guide. I could always sell it on eBay. No, I've got to go to Aberdeen with Sophie. This is the best thing for you, mate. Take your mind off it. Maybe I should send her a bit of ear. Or a finger. Just to show I'm really serious. Hi, guys. Um, there's a changing room around there if you want to... Uh, I, I thought these would be... This is salsa, isn't it? No. Oh, no, salsa's on Tuesdays. No, this is Rainbow Rhythms. It's quite full on. Mark, are you all right with that? Me? Totally. This looks... Cool. I've walked into my own personal nightmare. Must remain non-uptight for Sophie. Even if they make me play trust exercises with their genitals. Mark's such a honky. I'm definitely the alphaist male here. He's probably here for community service. He looks like he's actually getting a bonk on. I'm definitely king of the hippie jungle. Take a partner! And with that partner, let the music take you into your primal self. Jesus Christ. She must be a tranny. She's no tranny. I'm not really here. It's research. I'm Louis Theroux. I'm Louis Theroux. Hey, no fair. That's my fun. Got to get in there.
Look, can you please just get out of my way? Thank you. Hey, so I, I came with her. It's really hot. Do, do you fancy ducking out for a while? We're right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Is this it? Is this what my granddad died for? The freedom to do this? Jesus. So, how did we all experience the class? <clears throat> well, um, I felt a lot of stuff to do with rejection coming up for me tonight. Um, I was dancing with someone and they made it very clear that they didn't want to be with me. Uh, and it just brought up a lot of feelings. That's all. Thanks. Yeah, there was a lot of new energy in the room tonight. And some of it was just so rainbow rhythms. And some of it was just so not rainbow rhythms. Thanks. Why don't you just say who you're talking about? You're talking about me, aren't you? Well, yes. All right, I am. Well, listen, I, I'm sorry if I didn't do it right. And I'm sorry if you assume that I eat red meat and don't necessarily think money or Tony Blair are a bad thing. But if there isn't room here for people who stand against everything you believe in, then what sort of a hippie free-for-all is this? Okay, come on, you can do this. Oh shit, there he is. Am I actually gonna do this? I've done self-harm. Compared to that, this is a walk in the park. Come on, man, do it for Sophie. How's it going, Jeff? Not bad. You? Oh, not bad. Hey, uh, look, look at that. Mike's ass. Quite a nice ass he's got on him there, wouldn't you say? You are. I, for one, certainly wouldn't mind giving him one. Are you trying to tell me you've gone gay? Yes, well, there's no need to spread it around, but yes, those are the facts. Sexuality is a broad spectrum, and... And you've moved into the gay bit? Yeah, that's right. I have gone somewhat, in fact, almost entirely gay. So what? Colin from Human Resources, would you, uh, would you suck him off? Yeah, well, now I've gone gay and everything, do you think it would be all right if I came over to see Sophie now and again? I don't know, ask her. I'm not a prison warder. What? But she said, she said you'd said... Oh, that's fine by me. Well, that's great. That, that's great, Jeff. That, thanks a lot. No worries. Gay or not. There's no threat from you, pal. You could have your cock in it. You still wouldn't have the balls to fuck. See you later. <laughs> Thanks. See you later, Jeff. I'm experiencing humiliation. Blood boiling, anger rising up, ready to explode, then falling back in on myself in the familiar shower of self-loathing. Mmm, warm copies make everything better. Are you sure this is okay? It's fine, Jeremy. Hi, right, Jess. Hi, Jeff. Just thought I might pop over, since that's cool. Mark! Hey, Soph, I, I was thinking maybe we could cook these guys up something while they're in the pub. I've got wine. Oh, right, I don't know. But, well, you were moaning about getting left on your own again. Right, um, well, you should come in. It's uh, Ernest and Julio. Fictional, obviously, but it gives a nice image, doesn't it? How cheap dare I go? Professor McLeish said party. It's going to get jumbled in the common lot. I could risk breaking the 299 barrier. <laughs> there be monsters. I'll dump this and drink the communal lager. I think I know who's winning. You couldn't ask Mr Rashid if he's got anything cheaper than this, could you? OK, fair enough. Hey, Mark, look, they've moved the bus stop. Our bloody bus stop's been moved. Everything changes, Jeremy. Five years ago, I'd have cut off my right leg just to be able to speak to Professor McLeish. Now I'm going to his house for a party. And I'm headlining a band. Excuse me, friend. Can I see what you've got in your pocket there? Why do you want to look? Look, I'm not a student. I am a real person. <laughs> Mr Rashid, don't be ridiculous. It's us, remember? The El Dude brothers. You gave us that out-of-date hummus. Jez was really ill and, and we laughed about it. Who the hell put that there? I can't believe he called the police. 
I've got to get out. I'm meant to be on stage any fucking minute. What the hell were you thinking? Why didn't you just pay for it? They should be paying us to eat that crap, Mark. Stealing things just makes everything very cheap. Plus, you know how I feel about capitalism. Yes, confused. Look, Mark, I'm supposed to be on stage right now. I was wondering, maybe you could somehow take the rap for me. We could say I was in your thrall, like Hindley. No way, Jeremy. Right now, April's probably getting chatted up by some student who's also worked out she's got the magical combo of beauty and low self-esteem. OK, OK, here's the plan. Good cop, bad cop. I say I'm ill, Mr Rashid comes in, all sympathetic. You stand there, hit him, gently but firmly, until he stops not moving, but resisting. We exit post-haste, yeah? We murder Mr Rashid. What is it with you and stealing and murdering today? You're mad on it. Right. Come on, let's just do it. No, Jeremy, there's procedures, forms. We need to go through the proper channel. All right, all right. Since you're so set on a life of crime, no point in adding criminal damage as well. Woo! Oh. Great, cheer up, mate. We're outlaws, out on the lamb. Like Bonnie and Clyde, Butch and Sundance. I'm going to leave a tenor and a note. Look, I don't need to buy a ticket. I'm in the band. I'm not a punter. I got way laid. There's been a mix-up. I don't belong here with the shit munchers. Do I look like a civilian? You are going to be so embarrassed in about five minutes. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm in the band. I'm in the band. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. I'm in the band. I need to get on stage. I'm in the band. Shit, I was only half an hour late and he's already back in the band. Oi! Look! I'm, I'm here! Yeah, me! I say, lads, feet! Hey! Mr. Baker said he was in the band. Uh, I'm in the band, all right. Yeah, I just crossed the fourth wall. Mm, crowd pleaser. Let's do it! Let's have it! Let's have some more of it! Look, I'm in the van. You're being me, that's hilarious. That's not hilarious, that's my bollock. Yeah, you've got my bollock. You, you're pulling on my bollock. I was like, yeah, the book's based on good source material. Unfortunately, the source material appears to be Asterix the Gaul. <laughs> so, Mark, I was wondering if you might fancy doing a little piece for Rhombus. 500 words or so, kicking the shit out of Simon Sharma. Love to. I, I, I could lay into his whole accessible, interesting take on things. To enter the elite, I must shit on my heroes. Maybe it could become a regular column. Slaying the middle brow sacred cows. I can pen insights from the safety of the flat. The Zorro of academia. Who is that masked intellectual who so pricks our pomposity? Oh, that's rough. Miscalculated. Dinner party. Still, if I drink the whole thing, no one need know. Special bottle? It's just mine. I, I like to know how much I've drunk. You're driving? No, I, I just like to know in, in case anything happens. He thinks I mean date rape. Not date rape. Other things. Hey, April, come and join us. We, we were just talking about my column. Cheers, but I'm just going to read Deirdre's play. Emily Dickinson and Virginia Woolf search for a lost Sappho manuscript on Lesbos. Do you think there could be a subtext? Great. <laughs> Plays, wine, lesbos. I've arrived. Just don't mention Bravo 2-0. Hello? Hello. Do I know you? No, I'm a friend of Mark's and I've just had all my dreams smashed by the most punctual electro-dub outfit in Britain. Bollocks! He shouldn't be here. There's limited room in the inner ring. That's why it's the inner ring. So, you all look pretty happy being students. Well, I've got news for you. The shitstorm is coming. That's the real world out there. And let me tell you, baby, it is fucked. Is uh, that what Dr. Chomsky and Michael Moore have been telling you? In lieu of a degree. I've got a degree, my friend. Oh, yeah. I was here in the glory years, mid-90s. Britpop was kicking off. Four weddings had just come out. It was mental. Four weddings? 
It's a film, Alistair, very popular at the time, about weddings. Oh, come on. You have seen four weddings. You're trying to make out you're this oh so clever professor who hasn't got time to watch four weddings or Ghostbusters or whatever like the rest of us. Well, I'm not buying it. All I can say is I spend my free time reading rather than sitting around watching Ghostbusters. And what exactly is the problem with Ghostbusters? Oh, oh, look how many books I've got. I must be clever, yeah? Well, let's have a look at some of these books, yeah? Let's see how really great they are. No, Jeremy, don't manhandle the books. Sister Carrie by Theodore Dreiser. The look on her face was one of disappointment. That's good, is it? What's good about that? I don't actually care for Dreiser. Oh, oh, I see. These are just rows and rows of books that you don't really like. What do you do all day? Just sit around not reading them? I think you've said enough, friend. Look, Jez, why don't you go and lie down in the recovery position for a while? Oh, or... this is all bollocks, Mark. You don't belong here with the pointy heads. Tell them. Go on, tell them. Tell them what? That I'm a hard-working, mature student? He's not a mature student. He's been a loan manager for the last five years. He lives with me and he eats ready meals and we play Guess the Revels and we watch Men in Black in front of our massive telly and we have a fucking good time. Loan manager? I, I manage my student loan. I, I manage on it. A April, listen, I was thinking, I, I should really go. Do you want to go now with me? Oh, don't go. We were all going to smoke a joint and read Logue's Homer. You can play Helen. Or, I've got six quid, let's get a couple of bottles of Thunderbird, so you can drink theirs fastest. And they're treating it as a racial incident. Bloody hell. Next you won't be able to get a black coffee from the coffee machine. Exactly, and they'll have a bloody EU banana straightening machine to straighten all the bananas. Hey, there's already a banana straightening machine. It's called Woman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you take that sofa, right? Going over to Jeff's like that, right in your face. You've got to admit, that is the behaviour of a world-class bitch. <laughs> yeah. Go on, say it. I'm going to say it. Yeah, I suppose she is a bit of a bitch. Too right. Ask Clarkson. Clarkson knows. Good old Clarkson. People like fast cars, they like females with big boobies, and they don't want the Euro, and that's, that's all there is to it. <laughs> I'm not that hungry. Do you want anything? Don't really fancy a chinky. Have you got a pizza menu? About a million. <laughs> <laughs> I like seeing run like that carrying real Sten guns. Yeah, do, do you know about... Uh, just, just reenactments, you know. That's cool, we do like WW2 stuff. Could be an hell of a laugh, you know, just a bunch of guys together. Reenactments? They probably sound more fun than they really are. Like Laser Quest. Another beer, G? Lock and load. God, what is he taking? Better not disturb him. He might attack me and be sick. Uh, Jeremy! What? What's Hans doing? He's honking on his crack pipe. Crack? I've got company. Oh, relax. Oh, I'm Mark. I'm in the 80s. I'm dying of heroin in a puddle in the corner in an advert. Drugs are fine, Mark. Everyone agrees now. Drugs are what happened to people, and that's fine, so shut up. Look, I don't want to make a scene, but I really think... <laughs> what? It's Gog. I got the commission. Well, congratulations. Shove it up your ass. Shove it up your ass. I've got a commission. It's big and it's fat and it's going right up your white bread ass. Jez, for God's sake, I'm pleased for you. Oh, yeah, sure you are. So pleased that I've gone straight to the finish line on my enormous bike while you're still jogging along for miles in the rat race with you and all the other rats. Exactly. I, I think it's great. Great. Well, in that case, you won't mind if I take you out for an incredibly expensive meal to celebrate. I I'm not that hungry. Bollocks, we're going. Why do you have to bring Daryl? He's a bit boring, isn't he? Oh, boring. What, because he doesn't go around with a haircut and a, an iPod and piercings and a strap-on? Strap-on? It's an example. Uh, sorry, excuse me. I ordered uh, three pilau rice and three peshwari naans. It's, it's all right, Jeremy. It's all right. I changed the order. There's always rice left. It's not all right. Bring us three pilau rice and four peshwari naans, please. I've shared enough rice with you, Mark. I'm in the big league now. Four naan, Jeremy. Four? That's insane. So, what am I going to pay you to do in my band? 
That's very kind of you, Jez, but you don't want to overstretch yourself. Bollocks. I'm a very generous guy. Daryl's bringing his corps anglais. Nancy's singing. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, we did once talk about me doing a kind of Jean-Michel Jarre thing on the keyboards. Mm-hmm. Or, I was sort of hoping you'd say you want to be the manager. Yeah? You could order me around, which you'd enjoy, but I'd be your boss. It could be kind of confusing. In a good way. Three more beers for the three musketeers, eh? Ooh. Ah. 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 Hey, check this out, right? Sexy girl walks past. It's like... <laughs> yeah. That's not funny, Daryl. Repeat, not funny. Oh, come on, lads. Let's lose the cone. I'm a somebody now. There's no need for a cone. Ooh. Too good for the cone, are we? We're having a laugh, Jeremy. A bloody good laugh. <laughs> but we're having a much better time than Sophie is right now. Hey, of course we are, mate. Of course we are. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you where we should go now. What are we going to do? Fuck him up. Maybe we should check the doorbells working nice and loud, yeah? Or, or we could make a special delivery for Jeffini. Uh, Daryl, what? What are you. Hey! No, don't! Oh, fuck! Oh, piss. Oh, crumbs. Hey, I bet you don't get these in the van. Uh, on or off? How long does it take again? Just eight and three quarter hours. Wicked. Thank God we're not in the van. God, I can't believe we're going back to Darty. There's no Quim. Likes to party. Like the Quim down in Darty. <laughs> yeah, those were the days. Did you ever appeal about your degree, Mark? Who cares about that shit? I didn't go to university to get a degree. No, of course. Anyway, no use regretting the past. I wish I'd done ancient history, but... I thought you did do ancient history. I did business studies, Jeremy, for three years, and I talked to you about it daily. Right. I could tell him that's all ancient history now. He probably wouldn't like that joke. Oh, well, that's all ancient history now. <laughs> I'm gonna razz those fuckers. Hey, Mark, look, it's Subhans and the band. guy. I love that guy. That is so funny. Okay, I'm going to Aberdeen. I'm going, Jeff, in a canoe made of your skin, wearing your nuts as earrings. All right, Jeff? All right, Mark. So, say, tell you what, Jeff, I had a great shag last night. Oh, really? Yeah, with your mum. What? Yeah, really doing it, we were. Mate, I know you're pissed off about me going to Aberdeen with Soph and everything, but you need to chill, OK? You need to chill right out, otherwise... I'm... Otherwise what? What's gonna happen, you homo? Mark. Stolen any good cars lately, Mr Scouser? Hey, where's your native wit now, eh, Mr Stupid? Watch it, mate. Come on, Jeff, let's get down to it, shall we? Come on, you stupid, stinking chicken fucker. Quack, 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 quack! Quack, quack, quack! Oh, those chickens really love it when that big rooster Jeff comes a-calling. Oh, he's bloody broken my beautiful nose! That should be more than enough for personnel to go on, don't you think? Goodbye, Jeff! What, mate? Where's... Where's the other one? You're not the one I bought the lager for. Laurie knocks off at six. But he was supposed to take the... Me and Jeff in the room. He, he must have taped it. Oh, shit! Look, mate, pal, you, you've got to do me a favour. Hey, Jeff. What now, Mark? Yeah, so, like I was saying, your mum. I had sex with her. Mark, why are you doing this to yourself? Yeah, and it was great. Mark, go home. Come on, you big pussy. Look, you've obviously got a lot of serious stuff going on. And I'm not going to make it any worse. Come on. Dick cheese, piss teeth, 
fish lips. Come on, have another crack at me, Jeff. Go on, I'll fight back this time. Hit me, Jeff. It's okay. I'll get him at the bus stop. There's CCTV at the bus stop. Hope they're not doing it in the hall. There's nothing erotic about a hall, is there? Hello, I'm coming in now. This is me coming into my house. Hey, Mark. All right, Jez. Is Nancy around? No, just gone. I'm seeing down the rhythms. Right, OK. Jez, wh why is the chair and what's all this strawberry and my yoghurt? Jez, wh what's happened to my muller? Oh, no, you haven't, have you? you? You haven't been sexing it up in here with my yoghurt? Relax, Mark, it's all right. We were just feeling very horny. I don't want to know, OK? I, I don't want to hear about it. And I don't want it using up all my yoghurt and bloody shower gel. Mark, well, I'm just in a very erotic relationship right now. I mean, we're systematically breaking down all the taboos that society has. Right, and love, romance, I mean, is there any romance in any of this at all? Who needs romance when you're doing it up the bum? Exactly. Exactly my point. I mean, if you've actually done that, which, by the way, I can see no point whatsoever in myself... You'd love to try it. I honestly would not! What, what is this modern obsession with... that? Look, Jez, what I'm trying to say is... So, for better or for worse, the 60s happened, and now sex is... fine. But can't we take the best of that? The nice music, the colours, the... I have a dream, etc. But not have to face the squalor. Uh, you might want to give that a bit of a rinse, actually, mate. Hey, Marky Mark. Hey, Jez. Brilliant. Thanks for the call. You see, this is better than just sitting at home in the same old trousers, isn't it? Actually, that's Jeff's. Jeff's? He's in the bog. But the thing is, it's currently going a bit terribly, but it's really important that I make friends with him. So I thought you're more of a fun sort of guy than me. What, so I'm the fluffer? Is that it? No, it's not like that. Look, if I don't make friends with Jeff, there's a very good chance I'll never speak to Sophie properly ever again. Oh, uh, hi, Jeff. You, you remember Jeremy? Oh, nice to see you, mate. Yeah, how's it going? Oh, fantastic trainers. Oh, cheers, mate. I got a pair like that. The straps go all the way up your leg like a Roman sandal. <laughs> Wicked, aren't they? <laughs> so, uh, what now? Round of Sambucas and hit a club or just head back to ours or... Sophie's? Uh, well, I've just had a call from a mate. He's got a poker school about to start over at his place. If you're interested in losing a bit of money, we could always manage your fresh face. Bonding with Jeff. I'm almost there, Soph. Clear the runway. I'm coming in to land. Mark. Right, sorry. I think I've got a pretty good hand. But there's always a chance someone else might have a better one. There's just no way of knowing for sure. I... I fold. This is it. I have entered the world of men. All I need is some beef jerky and somewhere to spit. So, what have I got? All the reds. That looks amazing. I'm hot. Like Pol Pot. Squeeze me. No, too rich for my blood. I'll stay, friend. And I'll raise you. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll stay too, friend. And when the going gets tough, you need to roll out the big potatoes. May I? Uh, maybe. Let's eat. I'm out. Red sky at night. Shepherd's delight. <laughs> wow, that's nice bluffing, man. Yeah. Hey, I'm really good at this without realising how. This is ideal. What a night. Looks like we're going to be a great bunch of mates. We could all pile back to yours and Sophie's. Bit late for you, isn't it, mate? So what is it you normally play? Is it seven card stud, Texas Holden? I just play the cards as they're dealt, my friend. Yeah. Or stay here and play something else. You should have a drink, mate. Core Anglais, of course. Probably plays it in the BNP jazz combo. Brilliant. Fantastic. What did you think, Hans? Crack. Just give me crack. 
Well, I loved it. If you want to print one of those out, well, whatever. Jeremy, don't just go. I'll suck for crack. Yeah, come on, Superhands, let's get you some crack. Tell Daryl we're very grateful. Great to hear from you. You uh, got over whatever brain attack you had in Frankie and Benny's then? I'm safe. In my cubicle, I'm safe. So we offer a pie or what? Uh, Daryl, li listen, the, the truth is, I can't be associated with you anymore because you're a racist. <laughs> yeah, but I thought we were on the same wavelength. You know, the, the sausage, the Euro, Clarkson. There's a difference. Daryl, you can't hate people because of their ethnic background. Oh, right. Political correctness gone mad. No, I hate political correctness gone mad more than anyone. I don't want to teach the world to sing. That, that would be horrible, but... Slavery? The, the Holocaust? That's, that's just not on. Whereas, I have a dream. South Africa, Benetton, it's... You've got to say, fair enough, yeah? Yeah. OK, no. Fair enough, you've taught me around. I have? Fuck off, thought police. Well, there he goes. The first friend I've made since Nick Bickford in 96. And I'm pretty sure Nick didn't really like me. Do we have to do this? We're not going to hurt him, are we? You want your money back, don't you? He's refusing to pay up, Mark. He's refusing to like the track. I told you you should have had a proper contract. How are you feeling, Superman's? Fine, totally fine. You've kicked the crack? No. So now I'll bang a load of Valium up me arsehole for the come down. What's this? Cover. In case the cops turn up. Just a bunch of mates playing a lovely game of baseball. No. Oh, Jeremy. Right, so what, you've had more thoughts about the track? Yeah, yeah, we have actually. Okay, great. Yeah. We thought we might smash your brains in with a baseball bat. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. See, we want our money and we're feeling a little bit clumsy. Whoops. Look, Jeremy, I've told you. It's out of my hands now. The Honda people are very hard to please. Oh, Honda, Honda, Honda. Fuck Honda. Nice uh, packet of crunchy nut you've got here. Pretty expensive, as I recall. Not so rich and successful now with a piece of wood in your face. Hmm? Right, cheers. Look, Jeremy, we, we can come back again. He's got the message. You're going to pay, aren't you? No. All right, then. We've got our answer. Let's go. I've got to hurt him on principle. Hit him with a fucking bat, Jez. Why do I have to? Why don't you do it? Punch him with the glove. Punch it? I can't even make a fist. This is the whole point about contract law. The whole point of a contract is to make sure this kind of thing never happens. Don't answer it. What if it's Honda? It's not going to be Honda. Could be Honda. All right. But a word out of place and you're getting the bat. Hello? Honda? Uh, oh, really? Oh, well, that's great news. Uh, oh, well, I'm so pleased. Dave, call the police. There's people here. They're trying to kill them. They're trying to kill them. Uh, hello, uh, Dave. It, it's, it's Mark here. I, I'm an old friend of God's. D don't worry. We're, we're not trying to kill him. It's, it's just uh, he's... Uh, he, he's never had sushi before. He thought we were trying to poison him. Ah. <laughs> it's, it's all right, Cog. You, you're not meant to cook it. It's supposed to be raw. <laughs> can, can he call you back? Hey, Mark. What's the big stink? Daryl's getting the sack. Apparently he was a massive racist and not even his best friends knew. Someone reported him. Right. Oh, shit. He knows. He knows it was me. He's got a pipe bomb in his trousers. Don't bomb me. You wouldn't bomb a whitey. Listen, don't worry. I'm not going to embarrass you, right? I'm going now. I just wanted to say... I don't care what happened. I still think you're a bloody good guy. Oh, and I took the rap for the sausage as well, so you're in the clear there. So, um... Well, I'll see you around, mate. Yeah. Yeah, and... Good riddance, you, you, you fucking Nazi!